of pristine South Carolina beaches, thousands of acres of marsh and maritime forests, a saltwater lagoon, and an ocean inlet. Any ideas where I am today? I bet a state park didn't come to mind. Hunting Island State Park is in Beaufort, South Carolina, and it is easily one of South Carolina's most popular. And with these views, it's easy to see why. And speaking of views, you might recognize Hunting Island from some of your favorite movies and TV shows like Forrest Gump and most recently Netflix's Outer Banks. But besides its beauty, Hunting Island offers so many activities and opportunities for adventure. Are y'all ready to go explore? Let's go for it. Well, this is Megan Mall. She is the interpretive park ranger here at Hunting Island State Park. And I mean, what a beautiful office you have. I mean, my goodness. So I know that you're here at Hunting Island, but can you tell us a little bit about South Carolina State Parks as a whole? Sure. Uh, we have 47 state parks. Uh, they range from the mountains to the midlands to the coast, um, where you guys are today, obviously. You're on the beautiful coast of South Carolina, and you're looking at about 3,000 acres of salt marsh behind you. Down here, you can go crabbing, you can go fishing, you can go kayaking. So you mentioned crabbing. I did. Um, do you think that that's something that we could try today? Absolutely. Let's go for it. The idea is to set it on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the crabs are able to come in there and eat whatever you have. Uh, today, it is chicken necks. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> delicious, yes. <laughs> so why do you think we'd want to tie it in uh, instead of just leave it? Well, I guess so that they would have to stay yep. in the net. They and can't if, take it and get out. Correct. So blue crabs, um, they are scavengers. So um, the stinkier your bait actually the better because they like stinky stuff. So if you can stand it, you can leave these chicken necks out in the sun and let them get really ripe and oh. they will love it. All right, so you have your chicken necks tied in. Okay. You wanna make sure that you have a weight on there, which I've already done for you, but you want that, you wanna make sure that this is on the bottom and that it stays like that. If mm -hmm. you have it up like this, the crab won't be able to get in there. Okay. So we're just gonna hike yep. it over the side? Yep, you're gonna. Any particular spot? So as you can see over here, you can, this area is pretty free from oysters. So you can just toss it over. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're big. Yep. Hey. Oh, this is. <laughs> Y'all, right behind me is the Hunting Island Lighthouse. It is one of the only publicly accessible lighthouses in the state and I have never climbed it before. So let's go for it. Feels so tiny. <laughs>
Y'all, take a look around. How blessed are we in South Carolina that this is a state park that you can come and visit. And it's not the only one. We have state parks across every region of our state that offer all kinds of activities and opportunity for fun. So whether you are a mountain hiking person or island time is more your speed, there's a park for you. And who knows, you might be inspired to visit them all and then you can become an ultimate outsider. No matter what kind of adventure you're interested in, just go for it.